The art of cosplay. Quite a lot of people on the internet know what cosplay is, but if you don't and you're an idiot and dingus and doo doo dookie head, then I'll explain it to you right now. Basically, cosplay is where you pick a fictional character of either your own creation or of someone else's creation, maybe from TV or movies or comics or whatever, and then you dress up as them. I myself am members of a cosplay aficionado. You might be asking, Polybrow, what do you cosplay? Well, simple, I do it every single day of my life passing woman. Fortunately for me, I have some amazing, stupendous, superb friends that do amazing jobs of cosplays, so I thought why not ask them to do a little collab with me. So the basic idea for this video is that I write a song based off of one of their cosplays, and they cosplay based off of one of my songs. So this video is going to consist of me making the two songs for them, and then we're going to get on a call near the end of the video, and we're all going to share what we've made for each other. And it's going to be really cool, and really epic, and superb, and super I'm saying too many adjectives. So it's time to take off of the silly glasses. Oh Jesus Christ, I'm blind, and put on the composer's glasses. It's time to boogie. Ah. Uh, so the song I'm going to start with today is based off of my friend Lena's cosplay, also known as Plutonium on Instagram. And she sent me this absolutely stunning cosplay. Like, honestly, this looks really good. I love that the, 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 the this, the blush, that's the word. I picture this character to be like very laid back, like sort of laid back and like chill but energetic at the same time if you know what I mean. So I've sort of got together this very basic like arrangement of things. All this piano here, this is like just filler. I've changed the sound of all these pianos. I think this is something stolen from the Diamond and Pearl sound font. This is just some 8-bit uh, synthy stuff. And then I thought I'd have a lot of the energy in the bass, so I've gone with a slap bass. And then the drum's going to be like very light, it's a bit 8-bit and stuff. And then the melodies, this uh, crystal synth, and that's going to be like, it, it's sort of like got that sort of plucky but still sort of bubbly but chill sort of thing gonna have some like smooth accompaniment uh not not too much and like chill chilled energy i don't know we'll see where it goes i've gotten this like basic first like four bar melody which is gonna basically be like the 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 basic vibe basically but i'm saying basically too much and then we're gonna have some basic chord work beneath this no we'll go for the major seventh sound that sounds soft Mm, nice. So this is what we've got for the piano so far. The piano is meant to be like fairly out the way. I think we're going to have this, uh, this, uh, eight bits. I think it's a sine? Sine wave? Yeah, it's a sine wave. Wow, I'm smart. Yay! I'm going to have this sine wave doing like a secondary melody. Like a count counter melody, that's what it's called. I, I study music and I forgot the name for counter melody. Right, so it's coming along very nicely so far. So I've gone for like a slap bass, like I said. I'm going to have it like moving up and down quite a lot. You'll hear a lot of the energy come in now, because at the moment it sounds very chill, you know. So I'll, you play it in the morning, you know, with a cup, a cup of joe in your hands, you know, looking out across the beautiful sun or whatever. This, this is what this character would do. And then the, the main energy of the day comes in the form of the bass, you know, that's like the the breakfast that you have i don't know i'm not good with metaphors so we're gonna have some like nice little drum drummy tunes oh i like that that's groovy i'd say i'd say that's the right vibe i'll tinker with this anyway i'm at work on this in my own time and then y'all can listen to the finished version at the end of the video now this next one is also flipping impeccable i feel like i I'm, I'm afraid to do this because if I if I do any if I do the music equivalent that is worse than this, I feel like I'll be doing severe injustice to, to society. They've also very kindly sent me this uh, little paragraph like of information about their character that I'm just going to read now. This character is a spirit from the Spring Kingdom and the child of the Spring Queen, which is wow, that's kind of cool. So we need to go for like a regal royal theme with that, I suppose. Associated with like a weeping willow. Basically like the emo of the family. Emo, royal emo, basically. So that gives me the vibe of like grungy, grungy strings, grungy classical orchestra. Grunge, grungy Bach, grungy Bach. I'm, strings and then maybe like a Celeste over the top, a uh, synth, um, very light percussion. I can't see much percussion going on in the piece. Like low synth, not like too aggressive. 
but like just enough to like provide ambiguity. I don't know. Oh, my camera's on low charge. Oh dear. Okay, so I've had to turn off my camera because it was on low charge and I'm a dingus that doesn't prepare for things properly. So I'm just going to do this the rest of this segment without a camera. I'm feeling like a bit of D minor. You know, the other one's in D major. This is like feeling like a D minor vibe to me. I can have a distortion line in the background. It can like bleed in sometimes and like show that 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 sort of inner conflict, I don't know. But that's all my music. I'm just like, oh yeah, this probably has deeper meaning, but I'll just bullshit my way through it, you know? So I've got like the basic idea of what I, the instrumentation will look like here. I've got like all the more traditional sounding, like, I, I guess like nature-y instruments are here. And then this is like that, uh, I don't know, the, the emo <laughs> stuff. Suspended like, violins and strings and stuff okay this is going to be very annoying to write out so you've got this nice like smooth thing you've got this like a nice arpeggio here then you've got like this like the arpeggio again but like it's um faster it's like sort of spliced a bit segmented and then it sort of trails out here and it's like mysterious let's get the basic melody sorted out now uh maybe just expand this to be like that yeah i quite like that maybe have an echo in like the distortion and then we'll have the usual copy paste because we're lazy buggers. I oh, know I'll keep it just for that major seven vibe because we love major seven. I need to. Ch I want to change the guitar. I don't know about the guitar. Okay, I I'll go with the saw. The saw sounds like good, and then the distortion. The distortion doesn't sound too similar but like doesn't sound too distant from it either. We'll go with that. So this like first four bars is the basic gist of it. I want to try and have the the bass and the drums sort of come in a bit later on and add a bit more to it and sort of with that the uh, instrumentation will change. If you think about that one Celeste song that plays after you uh, do the mirror thing, shadow, yes, then it's sort of like that. <laughs> Hopefully this like lives up to the level of amazing quality that they did their cosplays to. So yeah, um, see y'all in the future and future me, you stink. Two days later. It has now been about two days since I started writing the songs for Thorium and Plutonium. Jeez, it feels weird saying the like online names as opposed to the real life names. And I'd say I'm at a point where I'm quite happy with them now. So I thought I'd go over like my music theory and like the 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 under like the meaning. Well, not the meaning. That's a bit too deep. Like the I don't know the what the goings on the song and stuff just so people can understand and know about it or whatever. I don't know. So just starting with what I've done with Lena's song, uh, I've gone through and I've just well completed it. Oh, that's a good start. I'd say it fits the vibe pretty well. I've changed a few like bits of instrumentation around like instead of that like diamond pearl platinum like organ sound I thought that was a bit too harsh for like the sort of vibe I was going for. I was going for like relax. I wanted the, the only real like plucky more harsh even though it's not harsh instrument to be the, the bass and the drums. That's what I wanted that to be. Everything else I wanted to be like fairly smooth, fairly laid back. What was the organ is just mainly sustained sounds and a few a few little bits that come out and then what was the piano, which I've now made this like twinkly bell sound or whatever. It's now, you know, it's it's still the same role, like some syncopated chords and stuff. There's now sort of like a build up and like a pull back now. Like you can clearly see the climax. I don't think what chord this would be. It's like a G major, G major 9. Yeah, I'm going to say G major 9. Increasing in pitch, like bass line that like continues on and sort of builds up that tension. And then it repeats back to the beginning. Um, just for another phrase and then it ends off by slowing down and you have like energetic like really energetic like bouncing off the walls energetic then you have like this sort of energetic where it's like you know sort of sort of bubbly bubbly it's been you know that's probably the word I should have been using the entire time but yeah this one um I mean when we first started working on it there wasn't too much to it there was like that initial first f few bars the Celeste is now a um piano because I just thought the Celeste sounded too pingy for my liking. And then there's this like very smooth uh, melody line that, that lingers around like the, I think it's like the ninth of the chords. In D minor, it'd be the ninth. In, there's a B flat major chord. Uh, it's the like sharp fourth. And then in an F major chord, it's the seventh. So it's sort of like dissonant-ish. It sort of sounds like the beginning up until a certain point where the uh, electronic drum set comes in. The tempo goes into a la breve, which is like double time. And then, uh, so everything sort of speeds up. The sort of like arpeggiaic flourishes. Ooh, I like that. I like that phrase. In the synth thing, that stays in the same like rhythm in a sense where 
uh, because we're in Alibreve, it like ryth rhythmically augments to like fit that. Basically, what I was going for with this is because of the character uh, that Alazzo gave me. I was sticking around like this whole theme of oh mysterious because you know plant life and stuff. I was thinking like forest and like the edge of like a teenager that's still figuring themselves out or whatever. I think that's the basic vibe I got from the character. It's like just a, just a teen, just like a you know middle middle child. Like the violin line has a lot. Too long, didn't listen. Laying a song bubbly, Lotso song mysterious. Yes, I'll be calling Lotso and Lena about tea time-ish. Don't know why you need to know this. And we're all going to show what we've done. So uh, expect that to be the next scene you see in the video, probably. Uh, probably in the next, like, three seconds. Like, three, two, one. The day is here. I'm actually really excited for this, to be honest. Like, uh, considering this is probably, like, the first proper collaboration I've done with anyone, um, this is, like, really, <laughs> really exciting. I'm excited to see what they've done with my piece. And I'm excited to see... I've almost said what I'm excited to see what I've done with the... I mean, I'm excited to see what their reaction is. That's what I mean. I'm excited to see what their reaction is to the songs I've made for them. So I'm really, really happy. Really, really happy. Like, happy. I'll, I'll be... Positive emotions. But yeah, here's where I remind you. You can check out the two separate songs I made for both Lotso and Lena. Uh, down in the description, there'll be a SoundCloud link to both of them. And there'll be a Instagram video link to both of them. I'll also include in that, those same two things for the song I made. So... Yeah, now we just wait for them to join the call, and then, woo, I'm nervous. Yeah, I can start, I'll start with my songs then. I'll start with yours, Lena, and then I'll start with, then I'll finish with yours, Lottie. So it's called, I call it Strawberry Weekend. Your character give, gives off, like, bubbly, happy, sort of, like, like, energetic but chill vibes, I described it as. So, like, I was like, I write something that's, like, fairly chill, so I was like, I mean, like, soft instruments. And then I thought I'd have like this energetic sort of vibe in the bass. Um, but yeah, um, have a listen. I'll start playing it now. Let me know if the volume's painfully loud and I'll restart. <laughs> Always technical difficulties. Right, viewing in three, two, one, go. you liked it uh yeah i was gonna go for that like cutesy energetic like chill vibes and yeah i'm glad i'm glad you all enjoyed it like i imagine that would be yes. in animal as yeah. a song here's the link to the second one this one is called lady of the forest because your character was like lady in forest um and you said like they were like this like emo teen um and of course so my vibe was that like I went for like. I don't really remember what her background was, to be honest. I just kind of made it up on the spot. <laughs> Fair I enough. Remember, but... And then, sort of midway through, uh, I've, it, it gets it, it changes up a bit. You'll see what I mean by that. But like, yeah, I I, I went for some sort of mysterious foresty vibes. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully you enjoy. Three, two, one, and play. <laughs> Hopefully that gave off like the right vibes and fitted yeah. well and yeah. <laughs> what what did y'all each think of your song? Was the vibe did did it pass the vibe check you were going for for your character, basically? Yeah. It, it surpassed the vibe check. It 
<laughs> it went further than my expectations for the vibe. I'm just finding the screen that Elaine and this photo like really, really funny. <laughs> Wait, why? What is it? It's just frozen. <laughs> That's the video thumbnail. Who wanna go first? Wanna go first? I mean, sure. I just... Yeah. Okay. As soon as I saw you were prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I am ready. Ooh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh wow, that's so cool! Oh man, I love that! Oh, that's so... Oh yeah, that's so cool! Oh my gosh, I love it! Oh man, that's, that's fucking fabulous! Even the shade of purple feels like 100% accurate, I love that! <laughs> oh, that's so cool! So the first time, uh, I painted my entire face purple. It, it didn't turn out well. <laughs> I ended up looking like the Amethyst from Steven Universe more than the vibes of the bong, and I, I was just like, no. So, and the second time, I painted myself silver and had, like, grey hair. Mm. didn't like that either. <laughs> so, yeah. So I just went, oh, if I just paint one eye, Not a it vibe. should look decent. But I mean, like, JoJo vibes. I, I do know what you mean, yeah, because you said you were listening to JoJo when you were doing this. By the way, I want everyone watching this video right now to go and, like, draw fan out of both Lottie and Lena's cosplays because just do it, it's fabulous. Is my camera just like dying? It's frozen. Yeah, it's still frozen <laughs> yeah. out there. Uh, it seems to be working. Oh. No. Hey. hey, we're back. Your files are too powerful. Oh, maybe you tried sending too many at the same time. Try sending one at a time, I'll cover my eyes. Right. Propaganda. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Oh my gosh. Wow, that looks really, really cool. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. I don't know why, but like, it's been like sort of like elvish vibes, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It, it looks, oh my god, it looks so cool. I love like the, I love the this, and like the what, the, the hair works as well. Oh my god, that like, that is. See, the one pose I was on about where I got like a billion was like this. Because like, <laughs> this is here, I wanted them to be straight, but they wouldn't like sit straight. They were like curved off of me, so I just had a little bit of this. Them. It looks good. I didn't. I didn't notice that you were holding them. I did. They look. You. You. You both flipping. You. You. You passed the vibe check with flying colours. Literally, like um, the the bar. The bar was high. This. This is how high the bar was. And you guys just went up here. Like, oh, that's my. That's my body. I've been scrolling up and down for the past like, I don't know how long. Looking. Looking at yours again, Lottie, and then looking at. Like, oh my god. First of all, thank you so much for doing this collaboration. It's been amazing. This has been like my first proper collaboration for people. And I'm really I'm so glad that I, that you two are my first people to collaborate with because you guys are awesome. Everyone watching right now, I want you to go and follow these people on Instagram right now. Go, go and do it. Do it now. Do it. Not that camera. On Twitter. Follow Lottie on Twitter too. Ah, those were so good. Those were so good. Those were so good. Those were so good. I am blown away. That was so good. Like, I knew. I knew these amazing people were amazing cosplayers, but... So good. But yeah, um, that was that was a lot of fun. And that was great. Like I said, this is like my first proper collaboration sort of thing. And I'm really happy I got to do it with two amazing people. So that's really great. And I'm really glad that they enjoyed my songs. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to try and do a few more things like this in the future, either with different people in different areas and stuff. So expect that. Don't expect anything like making music based off of someone's workout routine. Actually, that sounds like a good idea. I might do that one day. Thanks all for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. If you enjoyed it so much, leave a subscribe. Leave a subscribe. Leave a subscription. And yeah, I hope to all see you next time. Bye-bye. Slowly kisses passing by the river. I've been missing your strawberry kiss. Cause nothing you know is sweet and taste. Still drive me crazy. Yeah. Hey.